Hello everyone, this is Zanza, back with another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, last time, we were in court, and we successfully defended for, at least for now, we are not out of the woods yet, but for now, it seems that Maya Fey is safe. So, now we're just going to gather some more information to see if we can uh, get someone else convicted. Okay, so let's get started. So it seems that we are going to be talking to April May in the detention center. Not you, <laughs> not you, you stinking liar! I hope you die. Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask you. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you noticed? You've haven't you done enough questioning? You spiky head. Here we go again. You're scaring the security guard. For starters, how did you get to be so totally wacked? Okay. That man. Where is he? Come on. No way. <laughs> Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Okay, so the wiretap. So. In case you guys missed the last few episodes, um, April had wiretapped Mia's phone, and so I guess we're asking her about it now. Taping people's phones is a crime, and I suppose you learn that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. I would pro- if I were to have to deal with someone like her in re real life, I probably would have punched her by now. Like. I cannot deal with people like that. Why are you so angry? You don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it, but I'm feeling scum sucking wire. I. <laughs> Think against lawyers are just us. Okay, so that seems to be. Um. Everything here, so. I guess let's just head to somewhere. Um... Should probably see what, um... Uh, Mr. Grossenberg thought of, uh, how he did. So, wait. Wasn't there a massive picture there? I mean, like, the paint's even odd, but, like... Maybe he's avoiding us. Um... Like, seriously, wait a second, wasn't there a j- I mean, like, seriously. Think Fisherman? This is a very memorable painting. Wait, don't think this was here. Let's see what this is. Old photos. There are two lying here. Something's been written on pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident A and DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Um, let's take B. Wait a minute. Isn't that the guy who, in the, like, opening cutscene, is the one we saw kill Maya? Just borrowing it, I'll return it later. Let's see if we can, uh, snag the other one as well. Photo lies on the desk. Let's stay with the one we have right now. We will be finding out more about the DL6 incident later, so... I guess let's, uh... You again? Can you take a hint and stay gone? Because you won't talk to me. Oh, so now it's my fault? <laughs> you don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it when this case is done, I'm shaving my... No! 
Let's see, can we say anything? Oh, that man. Okay, let's uh, try this again. But the man who stayed with you in your hotel room, can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's been accused of murder. I don't think you want to protect, be wanting. Nah. You sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops. No. See? Damn. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. So, we just picked up this photo, and pretty sure this is the guy who committed the murder. Usually that does something for us, so... Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Like, seriously, the color of her face changes when she gets angry. That's damn impressive. Aha! Reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? How? Stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss... <laughs> Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. <sighs> okay. Um... Okay, let's see. It's like never anything at uh, the Faye and Co. law offices, so let's go back to the hotel. Screwdriver still sticking out of the uh, drawer. Bellboy. Quite the performance today. Any. No. Usually witnesses have the day off of work with pay, but still the day off of work when they're asked to be a witness in a trial. Okay. Can only help the Gatewaters rep, as they say. Yes, our reputation will swell. The murder... What? Okay. I completely, like, didn't read a thing there for a second. We can, chain, we can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murder ice, murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, your honored guest, please. You can bring me, uh, the murderer. Okay. Uh... Oh my god, he's like, he, he's like, inflating his ego, like, a balloon pump, with, I mean, like, with a balloon pump. Okay. No, I won't pardon you, the expression. He struck me as a real lady killer. Guys, I, <laughs> Mr. S I'm quite sure I could identify him. Photo. We do have a picture. Okay, so let's present it and see what we get. That's him. Oh, I know. <laughs> he thought we were the detective. No. No, we don't know how it is. He wants to just call someone detective once. That is the man who checked in with Miss April May. His name... His name is... I don't think June, July. Don't think they have a child August, September. An affidavit... Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> the swarthy affidavit. Hurry up and write it. Um, wait, let's uh, take a look at the affidavit. It, see if it has, like, describes the man who stayed. Okay. Um,. 
So it seems that we do have one more thing, so we can go back to the detention center and try again. More about the hotel, absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. Propose that we had a subtitle. Subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Mitt. I think it's freaking terrible. Whatever floats your tea set. That's funny. Um, let's try and present this now. Can you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He told us everything he saw. He told us the man you checked in with. He told us who the man was. Let's keep going. It's all or nothing. No, he's playing dumb. Dumb, if indeed. Oh. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. Even though he should be a witness to murder, this man is hi is in hiding. I'm sure, if I, the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ooh, fine, I'll talk. You, you wouldn't, lawyer. I've... <sighs> oh, you're pumping <laughs> your fists in the air! <laughs> Phoenix is such an an- Okay, fine, he is actually animated, but he's such, like, an- Through text, just text, we rarely ever actually see Phoenix- He's such like an animated character and oh my god, he's he's great. Red White, the president of the information gathering Huh. Give me a second. Okay everyone, I am back. Dictionary in tow. So, let us figure out what the heck that word even is. Okay. Conglomerate. C-O-N. Conglomerate. A thing consisting of a number of different and distinct parts or items that are grouped together. The Earth is a specialized conglomerate of organisms. Oh, so like all the worms and all of that. Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay, not definitely not the uh, other definition, which is uh, like a sedimentary rock. So I will keep my dictionary here again. So, red, right, the red, white, the president of Blue Corp. So, um, when whoever said red, white, blue in the intro, they weren't referring, or the cutscene at the beginning, they weren't referring to, um, the, uh, American flag. Red, white. suppose you could call them a detective agency. Hmm. So this was the man that was with her on the night of the murder. So, it seems that April is scared to tell us about him. Or else she'll end up like her. I assume she's talking about Mia, but we have no real uh, clue who she is actually talking about. He has a um, uh, pentagonal face. Like, seriously. No, hexagonal. An irregular hexagon. Top of his head, sides of his head, uh, the two slanted lines that make up uh, 
the sides of his chin and then his chin itself. Why would we get rid of the Bellboy's affidavit? Um, let's see if you'll write us another one. Um... Okay, let's just forget that ever happened, and let's just go to Blue Corp.